Hello! Um, presumably you're watching this video because somehow you've managed to get your hands on one of these um, Arduino compatible boards, Arduino Uno compatible boards that are uh, remarkably affordable. They're being produced in China and um, they're really pretty nice. Now the, the downside of them is that uh, when you plug this into your computer it it just won't work uh, because uh, I guess part of the reason somebody has I understand it why they're relatively affordable is they've managed to skirt around some of the issues regarding uh, licensing fees by producing their own uh, USB to serial chip which is not by default supported by uh, Windows XP or any I'm sorry Windows any system um, and uh, so you're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. You're actually going to have to install a driver and uh, give it the information it needs to communicate with this board. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to set this aside and we'll deal with just the, just the board itself. And um, so I'm going to take you to the website. I'm going to have it actually posted on my website as well. But here's the actual source. Um, currently, I have it defaulted to the Windows version because uh, that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, but it does support all the other types. Um, in fact, for those I'm using Chrome here, and for those of you who are unfamiliar, you can see. Well, it's, although you could probably figure it out from the Mac Linux, and wow, this one's a little bit tougher. But you can uh, right-click and translate to English, and then it'll make it perfectly clear. So again, I'm going to be downloading this version. For my Windows machine, it defaults. Now it's back to where it was. It's at the 341. You can see if I click on Linux, this will all switch and become the Linux one. Um, and I'm going to download it. And I've downloaded this a couple of times now. So let's go ahead and open up this in the folder. All right. And I'm going to extract it. And here we have it extracted. Now this is the device I'm interested in. This is the chip that uh, is on the board. Actually, you can. It's a 340. If you get out of my eyes are getting old, but uh, with young eyes or a magnifying glass, you'll be able to read that as a, a CH340 or 341. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to click on Setup. I'm going to agree. And here we are. We have the. Uh, Installer, I'm going to install. And I like this wording. The drive is successfully pre-installed in advance. So we are good. Close that, close that, close that, close that. Minimize this. Comes with a short cable. Um, I'm actually going to, I have mine plugged into an extension so I can get it out here underneath my camera. And plug it in. Now hopefully, um, the driver which you pre-installed in advance has now communicated with this chip and they've handshaked and they've set up a comm line. So let's go open up Arduino. And here we are. And let's take a look. COM port 3. Awesome. And it's important this is an Arduino Uno compatible board. Please make sure you check that to make sure it's on Arduino Uno and that you have a port that is selected that is open that is communicating with the device. Um, then what I'm going to recommend doing is it's actually already open but I'll show you how I did it. Go to examples, go to basic, go to blank. We want to make sure we're communicating. And this is a basic little program. I make it a little bit bigger that will cause this LED, which is actually by default, well, you can't see it, hold on, move it aside. This LED right here, which uh, is probably already flashing as soon as you plugged it in, because they usually come pre-installed with a blink program on them, it's going to uh, load a blinking program. So we'll load it. Should see some lights flash. 
to get that focus a little better. Okay, so it's communicated, and of course it's blinking again. Now let's convince ourselves that in fact we're doing exactly what we want to do. Let's make it flash 10 times faster. I'm going to take these delays from 1,000 milliseconds and cut them down to 100 milliseconds. So now we should see that green light flash much, much quicker. And there you go. So we are definitely communicating with the board. Everything is working perfect. And it's time for us to move on and uh, get this thing doing something. So I will see you here very shortly.